Today we're going to look at an insect called Oreophytes peruana, the Peruvian fern insect. Um, now these again have a number of specialities uh, or particular characteristics that are special to them. Um, they are yellow, black and white when they hatch out and this is a warning colour um, similar to bees or wasps have yellow, black and white colouring. And this is because the um, Oreophytes peruana or Peruvian fern insects produce a poison called quinoline. The insects eat ferns and get a poison from the fern which then they convert into this chemical quinoline and if annoyed or disturbed they give off this poisonous compound from just behind their heads and it's enough to uh, scare away um, predators like spiders. There was a study where uh, somebody put this quinoline onto the fangs of a spider and it kind of went crazy trying to rub it off. Uh, it's quite a nasty smelling chemical. It's similar to the chemical they used for mothballs back in the uh, sort of 19th century and the turn of the 20th century. So it's quite a nasty chemical. Uh, they're fine if you don't annoy them, but if you do annoy them and give off this horrible smell. Um, these insects are quite amazing. Um, they hatch out um, from eggs that are about two millimeters in size. Here you can see one of their eggs. Um, when they hatch out though, the hatchlings um, are about a centimeter or more in length. So uh, that somehow they're curled up inside a tiny little egg about two millimeters in size. And when the hatchlings come out, they uh, are yellow, black, and white, always striped. And uh, then they eat to get larger and larger, eating ferns like uh, the heart's tongue fern or the male fern or dryopteris. Um, these in insects are interesting too. The males uh, are actually red, so uh, when they get to their last molt, so when they shed their skin for the last time, they turn red, but the females should stay yellow, black, and white. Here we've got a photo of um, a male mating with a female um, fern insect. The now we've actually had some mutations. We've got some mutant females that also go red in their last molt. So here I've got a photo of um, a normal adult female, which is yellow, black and white, next to uh, one of the ones that we've got, which is actually a sort of red, um, black and white. It's interesting too, the females have uh, colours on their knees of their or joints of their legs, whereas the males have completely black legs when it gets to their last molt. And um, today we're going to get some of the insects out from our tank and uh, show you some of those and um, change the leaves for those to, uh, so they can eat some fresh fern leaves. <laughs> 